Very good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It is tense, it is pressurous, it is time consuming, it is mind boggling. It is the final of this year's Queen's International Black Ball Pool Tournament happening here at Queen's Sports Club, Blawayo in the southern african country of zimbabwe two of the most talented players on the continent ganda ganda is the nickname the green machine is the other nickname jeremiah naido is the real name all the way from south africa taking on the scorpion as the nickname caesar chandiga original name all the way from a germany to Kampala via Lira and Gulu in the proud East African nation of Uganda. Caesar versus Jerry. Live rest nine. Live commentary very, very shortly. The stage is set. The players are ready. The streamers are ready. The fans are ready. The fans have been paid. The mode is right. Caesar with two lives against Ganda Ganda for 3000 US dollars
Ganda Ganda, as you may have already seen, is already in the arena to share this match with you. This is the voice of Simon Peter Chobe, all the way from Kampala in Uganda, being driven by the passion of the sport that I love. Jeremiah Naido. Naido is the family name. Jeremiah is his first name. Ganda Ganda is his nickname. It means the bulldozer, a multiple event winner, the defending champion of this tournament itself. He also won for three years in succession the South Africa National 8-Ball Championships. 8-Ball is a slightly different discipline from black ball, but they use the same table. And he is a member of the South Africa 8 Ball Federation. He was the champion in that discipline in South Africa in, from 2019 to 2021. He has also won the CAC competition in South Africa, a proud winner of the CAC in the sport of Chinese 8 Ball be, be, just before it was renamed Black Ball. He has won different competitions outside South Africa, including this very competition last year. He is also a tourist on the African continent playing a number of money matches in Zambia, in Zimbabwe, South Africa itself. Most of the times 
coming out victorious against the likes of Aiden, against the likes of Caesar twice, against the likes of Victor, against the likes of Mafia. Here he is winning the break, nominating to winning the lag and nominating to break. It is a fair break and a dry break as well. On the other hand, Caesar Chandiga is from the humble East African country of Uganda, born in the district of West Nile, exactly between Ajumani and Moyo districts, a Madi father and a Langi mom. He was therefore raised in the district of Lira to grow up with his mother, whom I think is watching. She learned pool every time she came back from school. Took lessons at Hawaii Sport in Lira District where he got his first few lessons on how to play the game. He moved to Arua, further West Nile in Uganda, where he was partly raised. Then he came back to Lira now as a 16 year old in 2016 he started training pool a little more seriously he participated in uganda's national open championship in 2017 and qualified for the first time then 2018 did not qualify the next time the tournament was held it was 2023 this very year it is the national championship of uganda the car competition of uganda which he won just exactly 31 days ago when he defeated Lokoma Hazard to become Uganda's national champion. For now, in the country of Uganda, he's ranked number 20, but in the coming year, he will take up his number one ranking position. He will be the most undisputed seed number one that Uganda has ever had. He is taking on Jeremiah Green, a player with whom they all must have equal head-to-head -head statistics, having played against each other four to five times. The first being a non-recorded money match in the country of Zambia early last year, won by Ganda Ganda. The second a money match in the country of Dar es Salaam, won by Ganda Ganda. The third was the next year in the country of Dar es Salaam, in the city by the way of Dar es Salaam, not country, country of Tanzania. The appeal was won by Caesar. The next was played three days ago in this venue, on this very table, same cue ball, same object balls, racing to 16 for 1,000 US dollars. That one was won by Ganda Ganda. And the fifth time was today, a few hours ago, in this competition, in the winner's final, the match that is still fresh in all of your memories, I'm sure, won by Caesar 9-7. This is the sixth time of competition between these two of the brightest talented prospects on the African continent. Caesar 0, Ganda Ganda 0. They are racing to 9. A reminder, there is a trophy to 1. To win for the men, a trophy for the ladies, lots of cash prizes, lots of pride. The chance to be called champion. But remember that Caesar has two lives in this final. There was an arrangement by the organizers to have one final, one straight final, in which the player who will have qualified from the winner's bracket will be head started with two games. But Caesar appealed that decision and the organizers gave him attention and they revised their decision to follow the original double elimination interpretation therefore the, the ugandan has two lives for him to lose this final he must be beaten twice at times i will be commentating at times the commentary will be shared with my friend priscilla very Good evening and welcome to the stream. Hi, Peter. Hi, Peter. Uh, this is looking to be a very, very promising match. Oh, unfortunately there, that was very uncharacteristic of Jerry. That foul was not something I'd expect from a player of his caliber. 
he failed to legalize there and definitely I'm sure Caesar will punish him for that mistake. Still the first frame, it's promising to be exciting, isn't it? No doubt the match will be more lively as it grows. For now, expect some nerves, some tension. But as long as these guys start putting some balls, their brilliance will come back. Caesar in attack mode. Chance to go 1-0 up. Yes, he does. Caesar 1, Ganda Ganda 0. Rest to 9. That's my good friend turning the scoreboard. The African media giant from the country of Zambia, William Soko, is the guy turning the scoreboard. Thank you for watching Shafiq Walusimbi. Shout out to you, Anthony Egesa. Shout out to you. Spina Shamira says Caesar will win 9-6 and already congratulating him. I don't know what you mean by that. There is some discussion ongoing between the players. And uh, one of the organizers, Doc Mukondo. I love how the internet has united the entire African pool fraternity. Zambia, Uganda, South Africa, Malawi, Kenya, Botswana, Namibia, everywhere. We are one fraternity. Thanks to the internet. The scores on your board are representative of the players' respective national flags. On the right, the black, yellow and red of Uganda on the left, the green, blue, yellow and black of South Africa representing for Ganda Ganda. Caesar is nicknamed the Scorpion, a name that he earned from his fans who claim he stings his opponents like a Scorpion. Ganda Ganda means the bulldozer in South Africa. His fans say he crushes his opponents like a bulldozer, hence that name. It is the Scorpion in attack mode. Normally, he's some kind of a slow starter. When he starts fast, it may be difficult to find him. He normally gets into his groove after playing three, four, five games. I'm not sure he's seeing one of those raids in full. And his facial expression suggests that yes, he probably doesn't see, probably. He's play, playing some kind of a little spin on the white ball, which is effective. A very serious look on his face. He has won so many tournaments, this young man. At his age, I counted and got tired of counting. A number of weekly comps, both in Uganda and Zambia. And now the biggest of them all, the National Championship of Uganda. He leads to nil now. He has never won a pool, a major competition, an international competition of this sort outside of his home country. He's so dominant on the local scene. There is a lot of belief in him on the international scene. But he has never won a comp of this magnitude. He has played in Uganda, he has played in Zambia, he has played in Kenya, he has played in Tanzania, he has played in China, he has moved all over the place. He has not won a major comp outside Ugandan soil. He won lots of competitions in Zambia, midway competitions. He also won the Zambia Easter Cup, but not a comp that attracts the entire top players in Africa. Just two weeks ago he came number three in a similar comp that was organized at Billiards Cafe in Zambia. The comp that was won by Sanford Griffin Jinte with his countryman Ibra Sejemba coming second. But he has never won himself this kind of comp. Jeremiah Green 
now knows that he is against an opponent who is more than determined to take him down. The first match between these players was nothing short of exciting. Jeremiah is not yet into his full group. When he's into it, he's a very fast, lethal, entertaining player. I have never seen a faster player than this guy. I'm yet to find time to crop out that apple, which he scored against Victor yesterday in the winner's bracket. I think it was the round of last 16. It is the fastest game I have ever seen all my life. And I have watched a lot of games, believe you me. I'm saying games not on screen, but with my naked eyes. Because on screen I saw a 16 second apple from Gareth Potts. The crowd are very disciplined today. They must be, maybe sided, maybe just looking for what's about to come next but not showing lots of passion for any of these players so far. Maybe they want the players to warm them up, maybe with a, a wowing shot, maybe with a wonderful clearance, maybe with a fast finish, which Ganda Ganda is, is more than capable of. Good defensive shot there from Caesar. Very impressive. Making life a little harder for a Jerry, the green machine. Wow, excellent. Very well played there. Very well played. He's very hasty, but surely precise. Good drawback from Jerry there, who now faces the black and hoping to get his first frame now. Shout out Richard, uh, Richard Kleberson. Thank you for watching. It's a race to nine here. And the score line is 2-1 in favor of Caesar. Shout out Richard, uh, Richard Kleberson. Thank you for watching. It's a race to nine here. Remove the volumes. Caesar breaks and a pot's one ball. Good choice. He opts for the yellow class of balls. Most of his balls are in the air, free. There's just one dead ball in bulk there. But this is Caesar. He will definitely make a plan. Unfortunately for Caesar, he scratches there, and Jerry is back in the game. Will Jerry punish him for that mistake?
pre shot on the visit for Jerry. Still has uh, seven balls. A couple of them along the rail. But he's a great potter. He might just clear and give us the first red apple of this match. Sandra, high five. I'm doing very well, thank you. I hope you're enjoying the game. Jerry's shooting away. A five a reds to go. Thank you, Brian Gotora. High five. Perfect cuba positioning, almost as if it was remote controlled. Very well played. Hi to you too, Norris Chara. High five. Enjoy the game. Timba Ngomanya, a high five to you. Thank you, Bonnie. Jerry down to one last red. He drops that red, he will be on black. And on black he is. Shane Pele, I am not supporting anyone. I'm just enjoying the game mouth-watering match this is and the scoreline now is 2-2 after Caesar won the first two frames Jerry has pulled two back it's 2-2 now blow for blow so far it's a race tonight and remember Jerry needs to beat Caesar twice in this grand final <laughs> No, Charity Andrew, the match is not timed. They will finish when they finish. But I'm sure um, this will not take too long. Both players are very good um, shooters. They are sharp shooters and they play a relatively quick game from what I've observed. So this this should be pretty quick. Dry break from Jerry and Caesar takes the table. So Tony Luvo Guambe. No, they are not speaking in Isizulu. They are speaking in Isindebele, which is uh, 95% Zulu, essentially. Meanwhile, Caesar attacks, shooting away on the yellows. This may very well be a red apple, if he makes no mistake. He makes very few mistakes, which is why he is the great player he is. Very well decorated player. These two are arguably one of the finest potters in Africa. Very good players they are. Two yellows to go. Okay. 
and the black is down at three two it is here in favor of Caesar. Five frames down. Anthony gets to say showtime. Showtime it is indeed. It's showtime here. These two top class players have finally made it to the final. They deserved it. They knocked out several good players along the way. May the best men win. Whoever wins it surely deserves it. Caesar breaking. 3-2 is the scoreline. Don, Don, you say that was a clean clearance. Indeed it was. Very much like a Caesar. Unfortunately, Caesar breaks dry. Ganda Ganda takes to the table. He's taking some time to carefully plan. And map his way around. Actually, it is a race to nine. Jerry closes the table. He is playing a yellow. Almost scratched there. Lucky for him. It hit on the jaw there. Five yellows to go for Jerry. With one relatively problematic ball. One kissing the red there, near the center. It's 3-2 here in favor of a Caesar. Jerry taking his time on the shots. Evidently, it is promising to be a little tricky. He needs to be very precise on this. Himself. Wow, great putting, very putting from Jerry there as he escaped that snooker. One problem ball left. He needs to make sure he pots this ball. Somehow he needs to pull off a very miraculous shot as a Caesar is set to punish him if he fails to do so. shots the best shot I've seen in this race so far beautiful beautiful shot from Jerry even the previous shot was very well played executed with such finesse what a fine player very good shot. 3-2 it is and Jerry is focused on the black ball now he fails to pot it Caesar's relief he quickly takes to the table and obviously planning to punish Jerry for that. Mm -hmm. 
One ball down, six reds to go for Caesar. As he carefully plots away. Enjoying the game. Caesar shooting away. He is playing red. Scoreline is 3 2 in favor of Caesar. Caesar the Scorpion. One of the finest players Uganda has ever produced. Very disciplined and very skilled. Good recipe for a good player. Oh, unfortunately for Caesar, he failed to make that pot. Leaving Jerry a very clear shot on the black. Game down, and it's 3 3 here now. Either player needs uh, six frames to go. Thank you, Oya. Frame number seven about to commence. No, Matthew, just I do not know who Peter Curry is. Perhaps you may school me. Jerry preparing to break now. Another dry break from Jerry, who looks very disappointed in himself for that. Fair but dry break. Will Caesar up for the yellows? Perhaps it looks like that is the class of balls he's preferring. Table closed and he is on yellow. Meanwhile, Caesar potting away of five yellows to go after the dry break from Jerry. Race to nine it is. Jerry gets another chance for a visit. Great part, great part from Jerry. Viana Viva, I don't know who Sheila Gashimba is. Nevertheless, Jerry is putting away. It's 3-3 three, here. Three, yeah. Blow for blow it is. Both players playing very well, but the tension and the pressure is on. I'm not sure what uh, Jerry and Taylor are doing, but it didn't work in his favor as he left a clear shot for a season now.
bro. Katego, I'm glad you're enjoying the final. Two very sharp shooters, brilliant players. Excellent at their cue ball management. Sharp shooters, they both are. Great pot by Jerry there. What a pot, what a pot from Jerry. Excellent potting skills there. Down to one ball now. Will he witness another? Wow, that was a crazy shot. He was unfortunate, however, there, scratching the cue ball. He smiles at himself. He's probably proud of himself for the pot, but disappointed in the cue ball. Caesar is obviously relieved as that was almost game down. Great parting skills from a Caesar there. He attacks away. Man. Two balls to go now to Yellows for Caesar. Three three is a score line. Remember it's a race tonight where Jerry needs to beat Caesar twice. I have a feeling we are about to witness some excellent queuing action and cue ball positioning. Just as I thought, brilliant, well played. Oh, unfortunately for him, he scratches there. That gave me goosebumps though. That was a shot and a half. Unfortunately for him though, he scratched. Free shot on the visit. Very uncharacteristic for a player of his caliber. He's even seeming to be laughing at himself. Many people in the crowd have their jaws dropped to the ground. That was unbelievable from Jerry. I reckon it's the pressure. The pressure is real. It's on. That's what pressure does to you. What a mistake. It's definitely cost him. And Caesar grabs that frame. Once again, taking the lead. A 4-3 here, ladies and gentlemen. It's a race to nine.
have never seen Jerry Pot White on a free shot when he gets a free shot in the visits. That just says something. He is playing a big player and is feeling the pressure. A fair break. He breaks some pots. Caesar in control. Caesar putting away a playing yellow. Very meticulous in his planning indeed. Caesar now down to two balls. Unfortunately, uh, I'm sure that's not what he intended in terms of cue ball positioning. Making the finish a little more difficult. He has to engage plan B now. Plan B in action, but this is Caesar. He can pull off almost anything. He's really a marvel to watch. They both are. Very clinical, he is well managed, very well done. That shot gave me goosebumps. What a shot! Great, great putties. Caesar now down to the black. Looks like the reds might be partially obscuring the pot there. Perhaps he might use one of the reds to put the black. Or it's clean. He went in clean and sees out once again. Leads by two frames. It's 5-3, yeah? With Caesar in the lead. Caesar now only needs four frames to lift and Jerry still needs six. Jerry's breaking next. Jeremiah Naidu, a.k.a. Ganda Ganda, a.k.a. The Green Machine, who hails from the province of KwaZulu-Natal, city called Durban, in South Africa. One of the finest players in South Africa. Dry break there from him, unfortunately. And Caesar takes the table. Yellow's looking pretty good. But perhaps he might go for reds. He might be seeing something that I am not seeing. Wow, what a pot. Great stop shot there. Caesar going a bit defensive there. With good reason, I suppose has a couple of problem balls there. He needs to develop them first before he attacks. He's definitely making Jerry sweat. Great shot there. Great defense by uh, Jerry there. Good thinking. Blocking that potential combination shot from Caesar. Blocking the part of the red in the short trail to the right. Caesar's fans are chanting Caesar. Very inspirational. This guy is very inspirational.
great double there. Is this perhaps the moment he develops a dead ball there? Skill shot loading, perhaps. Oh, and unfortunately for him, he didn't manage the pot. See, it's a foul, free shot and a visit. Jerry carefully thinking after the mess up when he got the last three shot in the visit in the previous frame. Yes, I will take on from Priscilla for the next few minutes. This will go down as a poor free shot from Ganda Ganda. Sometimes I don't like to critique these players, but at times when the easy stuff is done the hard way and it doesn't produce result, you can't help it. Caesar has so far played Ganda Ganda out of confidence. He's not only out thinking him and out shooting him, he's also out scoring him and throwing him into unforced errors. The 23 old is playing with the maturity of a 53 year old doing the stuff of dreams making execution of shots look so easy he's claiming a very good share of fans who did not come on his side at the start of the match look at that that is the reaction of the crowd even Ganda Ganda is clapping his hands Caesar six Ganda Ganda three. Oh my word! This spot is becoming the gift that keeps on giving. Caesar has for the past. 18 months been the definition of consistency. You know exactly what he's going to give to you on the green bed against any player. His performance remains as is. He breaks by hitting the second ball. And sinks in one ball. A red ball. goes for the yellows. They are finishable but it won't come easy. But in this kind of form it can be made easy. He is now the overwhelming favorite to win this tournament. Especially in this first life of his. He's on the verge of exiting the tournament. I mean exiting it by winning it with his two lives intact. Just as Jinta did two weeks ago in Zambia. Execution, perfection, brilliance is Caesar's game. 
only one set of fans are now supporting the other set are silently watching he needs another good shot The fans are chanting each and every shot of his. It is as if he's playing in Kampala. The action of the cue ball as it reacts after contact with the object balls. This guy. That is the celebration of the fans. Caesar on the black for seven. Yes, he does. Celebrations in Blawayo. Celebrations in Gulu. Celebrations in Arua. Celebrations in Ajumani. Celebrations in Lira. But it's agony in Johannesburg. Agony in Cape Town. Agony in Durban. Agony in Pumalanga. The joy of the Ugandans is the dismay of the South Africans as this young man from Gulu is becoming the toss of African pool tonight. Grabbing Gandaganda's bull by the horns. Giving him a very rare challenge every step of the way. Gandaganda breaks, sinks in the yellows. Two yellows, in fact. All he needs, in my, in my opinion, is to put one ball. And given his attacking prowess, he should be good to go. He is not yet dead. He still has the life in him, especially given the enormous talent. All he has to do is to take it to one frame at a time, one game at a time. Fight for it as it comes. And before you know it, he can win one or two or three in a row, and then pressure will mount upon Caesar. But doesn't rule out the fact that Caesar too can utilize his own chances and extend his lead further. Thank you, Africa. I can see one, two, three, four different streamers bringing this game to you live this is break and finish live page also live on queen's pool academy live with william soko and live with francis mukoko's q pixels academy and yet on the one page that i'm viewing close to 2000 a thousand and nine hundred are watching live when it is already Tuesday morning in East Africa and coming to Tuesday morning in Southern Africa. Jerry, three, Caesar, seven, racing to nine for the trophy, for the pride, for the money. But for Jerry, even if he wins this match, even if he makes a comeback, he still has to do it all over again in another race to nine because Caesar has got his two lives well intact. This is where Ganda Ganda now takes no time. As long as he makes one good shot, opens up the game, the rest is stuff that he does in seconds. Ganda Ganda versus the black for number four. And Sink Sitin sees a seven, Ganda Ganda four. The fans are not yet buried. They simply needed one from him to raise their hearts and bring the game back to life. Seven three. Seven four it is, eleven frames down. Frame number twelve, Caesar set to break. And 
unfortunately for Caesar, that's a dry break. And for players of this calibre, a dry break could be very costly. Jerry closes the table on a red. Ah, that was risky. The black was going towards that corner pocket there. Am I the only one who wishes they could play slower? I'm enjoying this game and hoping they take longer so I can watch lots of great pool. Great king action I'm seeing here. Very entertaining. what Jerry wanted. Evidenced by the body language. I see him shaking his head there. Looking disappointed in himself as he goes back to his seat. Caesar now carefully planning his way forward now. All seven of the yellows are up in the air. I could very well finish this. He's been given another chance to redeem himself after the dry break and to punish Jerry for that mistake. Great spin there. Left English. Caesar carefully taking his time. Very clinical player he is. Very meticulous. Extremely precise. And a marvel to watch. They call him the scorpion. They don't call him the scorpion for nothing. He stings. And boy, oh boy, when he stings, he stings real hard. Jerry is surely feeling the sting right now. After a few mistakes that he made, and that have cost him a couple of frames. 7 4 it is in favor of Caesar. left for Caesar. Will this be game down? Your guess is only as good as mine. Wow, nice top spin there. Great spin. Last ball down and down to the black. Game down. Caesar only needs one more frame. One more frame to grab that beautiful trophy there. It's a race tonight. It's been quick. But very entertaining. 8 4 it is. frames down. 13th frame. 
the heat is on here. There's a large crowd crowded here at Queen's, Queen's Sports Club for the Queen's International Tournament. Fair break, it breaks and parts. He definitely needs to deliver an apple here if he hopes to pull back. And more so, he needs to reduce on the number of errors he's making. He's been horribly punished for those errors. He's shaking his head as if uh, to imply he's not pleased with either the cue ball position or other. He closes on red. Jerry steadily parting. One problem ball left. He's carefully studying it. I'm sure he's mapping out a plan for that problem ball. Three balls to go for him. A great shot, great putting. Is only three balls away from that apple now. Wow, great putting. Oh, unfortunately for him, he snookers himself. I've noticed he's very good at escaping the snookers, he's very good at his angles. But at this point, he couldn't afford a miss. Steadily putting away, at five yellows remaining. That was a great shot. He had one problem ball. He's down now, so he guess it's only as good as mine. He is set to run this frame now. Will this be the last frame of the tournament? talented he is. A month or so ago we saw Caesar winning the Uganda uh, Nationals. He walked away with a beautiful car. That's what you get for talent. Talented player. Very deserving. Two yellows remaining. So very well done. It's almost very obvious what the result will be. One easy yellow left and the black that gave you goosebumps. Well done to Caesar. Very, very well done to Caesar. As Jerry surrenders, stand by as we give our champion of the day a quick interview. Caesar, please quickly tell your fans how you're feeling after that awesome win. I feel so. I feel so happy. Like I'm really happy because uh, it's my first time winning international tournament. You know, I'm really happy. That's great. And uh, would you like to come back again for another challenge match with Jerry? Uh, obviously, no, not today. Because I'm tired. Congratulations to you. You worked hard, and you really deserved it. Thanks a lot. Good luck in your future endeavors. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. That was a very mouth-watering match. Caesar is our champion for the day. Stand by for the prize-giving ceremony.